how can you ever know with confidence if you go to your local fishmonger how your fish was caught? And it's one of those things that the more you know about it, the more you understand just how complex the situation is. Because the prices just haven't really dropped. So, Solar Discretion is an ethical fishmonger. We're a, a small-scale collective of fishermen. They range from static net fishers, handliners and potters. And we're all in it together, landing to our fish processing unit where we're packing and putting it into fillets, vacuum packing it and sending it to you, often the same day or the day after it's been landed to us. So you're getting really good quality ethical fish. Graham was our founding fisherman. He fishes on the Emma Louise, it's a gill netter, and he fishes pretty much all year round. You can almost guarantee what you're going to catch by using the selective mesh sizes. All the pollock we catch are all mature fish, and they're all in the, like the six, seven, eight fewer breeding cycles. So they've already bred six, seven, eight times. We've had a really good days fishing, and there's, there's zero discards, absolutely none. Couple that with the fuel consumption we use, kind of like the most selective and sustainable way of fishing. You've got to have a reputation. If you've got a reputation of landing good quality fish, it's, it's there forever. They are really proud people of the work that they do. And, and you know, you've seen the conditions that they go out in and my goodness, who wouldn't be? And they're bringing back these incredibly beautiful creatures. These are called slow jig just an artificial lure basically to hopefully uh, tempt something into coming along and having a nibble. <laughs> I always try to go about things in a sustainable way just to secure a future for you know hopefully my children and years to come so I tend to think I'd like to give a fish its best chance of raising the most amount of money possible um, by do, you know by keeping it in good condition when you see some of the the fish that gets offered up on the quay I wouldn't feed it to my dog. Superb quality I mean just blindingly beautiful quality fish. We insist that they take ice out to sea, which sounds incredibly basic, but you'd be amazed how unusual that was even five, ten years ago. Because we're paying them fair prices, they'll gut and ice everything. Every pack will have the name of the fisherman, the name of the boat, and the method of the catch. So it's giving full traceability back to the boat and the fisher on all our retail packs. We get our fish from us up to Farm Drops Depot by half past six every night. So same day delivery, it's fantastic. And that's all thanks to the train service. It's working really well. As a customer, you're just as important as the producer. By making that choice to choose that product, you are completely part of that whole brilliant new world that's potentially out there. The biggest thing I think about it is that you have this sense that everybody is working towards a fairer, a more equitable, a tastier, a more transparent world and we're all in it together. <laughs>